Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Right Waxing channel. Now, on to another set of skis. And because the snow is falling, this customer, by the way, who's an absolute legend, has actually dropped another set of skis into me. Purely and simply, because the amount of snow that's falling and the off-piste that they ski as a family and as a group um, is now accessible for this time of year already. Um, the twin tips have been dug out. Now, these are the Atomic Elise skis, 93 base in the middle, um, absolutely lovely and wide, awesome for landing backwards, powder or mountain. Basically, this opens the whole mountain up as your playground, these skis, and any kind of, kind of twin tip. They're nice and wide to get the flotation in that powder stuff, and they're just an awesome ski. Um, obviously, it's a female ski um and it, it's just awesome the exposed wood cord just there on the bottom you can see all the edges um just yeah absolutely stunning we're going to get these skis absolutely dialed in they're kind of now these are the revel 8 skis which i've just done a video on these are ski boards they're kind of like a very longer version of those they are extremely wide as you can see and uh yeah just a stunning set of skis um and it's so lovely that the snow is falling and uh, the, we get to play as early on as possible. I just wish I could get out to the Alps a little bit more. But anyway, that said, let's pop you in my hand and have a quick detailed look at these Atomics. Ooh. So here we are, the Southwest, not the North Face. I love that, albeit a few letters are missing. But we're going to add to this with an awesome ride ride waxing sticker. Um, like I say, lovely wide centre. We've got a lovely rocker, both front and rear. The skis, I'm going to polish and detail the top coat. Um, there is some raised areas, but we're just going to kind of sand those down just to make sure we reduce any catching. Um, a lovely strong nose, absolutely awesome strong nose on this ski. Um, and that's the other one. Again, bit of a deep clean. Din settings on these are set quite high, which is great. So six and a half on there. And we've got six on that one. So we will just adjust this one and make it to, to match. And we're running at six on that one. And six so the back two are absolutely on point which is great um so we just adjust that one to make sure it matches so we don't get one ski stronger than the other always do make sure your din settings match it's really really important otherwise you'll have a ski popping off and the last thing you want is a deep powder to lose your ski albeit i know they have brakes on but when it's buried and believe me i've had that with my buddy's skis and it's does panic you when you're in the middle of nowhere and you've only got one ski anyway base of this ski awesome very matte in finish we've got obviously some chatter marks we've got rust up around the edge here but these guys are going out actually before christmas which is just truly amazing um we've got a bit of a p-tex repair just there we'll base scrape that and get that tidied up before we add any of that and we'll clean all the wax off of the ski first making sure that we're sticking to good stuff um, a lot of scraping up here. I don't know if you can pick that. That is quite bad, actually. There we go. That's a better picture. And that's where the skis just basically scrape together. When I package the skis up and send them back, that will be lovely and smooth and polished, and there'll be a barrier in between. Nothing really you can't odds. You walk to the ski lift in the morning and they do rub together. But obviously, if it's going that way, it stops you from going that way. And uh, I know every little scratch will make a difference in my opinion and that's why we make them nice and shiny edges not too bad just very dull and uh, very blunt actually they're not um that sharp so we'll get on and sharpen those bad boys up but yeah that awesome translucent with the purple and the white i'm really looking forward to this i reckon we're going to get a real good polish and shine on these bad boys the shine you currently see here as you can see is excess wax and dead material and all sorts just uh we'll get all that cleaned up um so uh yeah here we are anyway let's pop you in the stand let's stick some tunes on and let's burn through the here i have got quite a few sets to do i've got another set just up there i have got two sets just over there i've got that set i've still got to finish that set and i've got a couple of snowboards indoors so um anyway let's go
lovely people. Um, let's get on and take the wax off these awesome atomic skis. I'm really looking forward to how the bases come up. We've done and tipped the ends, we've edged them. Um, we've obviously sharpened them all up. There's a P-Tech garage there, which I think somebody's already repaired or possibly a core shop prior to. So we're gonna obviously, yeah, we've refilled that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure these things absolutely shine like no other. Um, it's quite a base um, trans, kind of like, how do you put it? A very uh, matte finished base. So uh, we're gonna work hard to get a nice shine on this. But the whole idea is we've scraped off all that, uh, all that grime and these things are gonna be ready to rock and roll. The edges are super sharp. Um, actually, yeah, did claim uh, myself on my first ski earlier on another set. And uh, these are as sharp as those. So uh, no further ado, gonna get the scraper. Boom. Let's crack on and let's detail these buttons. guys one awesome set of ladies atomic twin tip skis all done we have the ride right waxing sticker on there and these things are polished detailed edged waxed and they've come up lovely check out the shine on that they have come up so well so so well i am actually liking the new camera setup as well to be honest um can't beat a good old iphone so there we are guys awesome both skis have come up lovely. You can see, obviously, where the garage was for the P-Tex, but that's now sealed. Same on this one from the bad, I think, possibly a core shop repair before. Um, but the main thing is they are just so smooth and so polished. They've just come up superbly well. Um, really, really well. I'm so happy with these. Absolutely so happy. So, guys, go across to the channel. Boosh! That's a set of uh, ski boards that I've recently done, as I said earlier. And uh, yeah, that's another set done in the Ride Back Waxing Workshop. Guys, hit like, hit share, share with your friends, go onto Facebook, follow me on Instagram, do what you like. But otherwise, I will see you soon.